Well, we are days away from one of the busiest travel periods of the year. Thanksgiving historically means those long lines at Denver International Airport, and TSA is working on something new. So our Kennedy Cook's at the airport, and Kennedy, you've been out there a lot this week. Um, this time you're checking out some new technology. Yeah, good afternoon to you, Mackenzie. You gotta love new technology right now. TSA is calling it the CAT-2, and that stands for Credential Authentication Technology Part 2. And Carrie Marn Murneyhead is here with Colorado TSA to show us exactly how it works. So Carrie is going to walk up to the system and scan her Colorado ID on the plate. And hopefully it works out for us here. We're going to... Oh, we're still scanning. <laughs> She's scanning her Colorado ID in the Apple Wallet app. Oh, we're still scanning. Okay, that's a good sign. Now we're going to come around, and it's going to take her photo on this screen, and it should align with her ID photo moments here. You know, technology has to take its sign when we're on live television. <laughs> Processing mobile ID. Boom. And there is Carrie. Now, what you may have been used to at the airport previously is handing over your physical ID to a TSA rep, them looking over your ID and confirming you are who you say you are. Well, now the CAT2 technology compares the traveler's photo on the ID credential against the in-person real-time photo. Now, once the CAT2 confirms the match, a TSA officer will verify and the traveler can proceed to the security screening without ever exchanging a boarding pass. Now, for those of you with concerns on your identity being stored, TSA says that that is not the case. One of the concerns about this is do we retain the image and the image is released immediately? So nothing is uh, retained in our system. Uh, it's an extra layer of security for us currently we're utilizing this technology in our pre-check lanes. Uh, one, because we have a known uh, quantity of folks that come through every day at our pre-check, and we have their background. So uh, as we saw for rollout of the technology, we, we can see where there might be risk or, or not. Now, as cool as all of this may sound, there are a few stipulations as technology provides, right? You must have a Colorado ID or a Maryland or Arizona ID, which, the, which are the other two states that utilize this technology. So you can't use your Chicago, Illinois ID like myself, and you have to have that uploaded on your Apple device in wallets, maybe a few days before, just so it can be cleared and make sure that it is in wallets, easy to use. But super cool technology here ahead of the holiday season to hopefully expediate some of that holiday travel. Live at DIA, Kennedy Cook covering Colorado first. Yeah, if it speeds up those lines, we'll take it. <laughs> Thanks so much, Kennedy.